Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're excited for today's video. In today's video, we're going to be playing a game called Palladopoly because we're going to be using the new Palladopoly collection from Ace Bute. So they did send me the PR box. If you want to see the haul video, I showed you guys everything, all the swatches and all that. If you want to check out the collection and just me talking about it, swatching everything, swatching all the lipsticks and all of that, I will link my haul video right up there. But today I'm going to show you mainly the products to play the game and the eyeshadow palette of course i'm also going to be doing my eyes with it i did do my makeup just because i wanted to focus on mainly the eyes in today's video today i'm also going to be using the eyeshadow brushes it, this collection comes with four of them and these are the handles right here they're really cute they have lightning bolts little hearts and then the bristles are pink so i am going to be trying them out today and then this is the beautiful palette right here it has a combination of colors i feel like you can do so many looks with it it has very very pretty shades i'll go ahead and show you the swatches right now so you can see them all i feel like this is a palette that you can use for a beautiful bright summer look but you can also transition it into fall with these two rows mainly i mean it has some beautiful greens yellows those shimmers and then that matte row is just full of pretty fall tones so i feel like you can do a little bit of everything with this so that's the palette those are the swatches and then let's get into what the game is about so we are going to play the game right now first all you have to do is lay out all the cards that it comes with on the floor and it is a matching game so you're gonna have to flip them around so that you can only see the back of the cards so each card has a little picture on it this one has an eyeshadow uh, a single eyeshadow on it and then on the bottom it has the name of the eyeshadow that you're going to be using if that's your winning card and then on the bottom it has the value of the card so you're going to get a variety of different little pictures on there like this one has some lip gloss on there an eyeshadow palette some have falsies okay so let's pretend that these are your matching cards it has a little single eyeshadow on each and then each one has its own value this one has a value of number two and then this one has a value of number one and then you also have to pay attention to some of the cards because some of them have a trophy on there which means that the card with the trophy would be the winning card except for when the other card has a value of number two so if the card has a value of number two then your winning card is actually the value of number two but let's say this one right here is a pair of lip glosses this one has a value of number one and this one a value of number three but because the value one has a trophy then this one is actually the winning card so that's how easy it is you'll you'll understand it once you play it once you see the cards and all of that and then as you get your pairs you start writing down the shade names of the winning card that you get and you put the card value up here you do want to add them up even though you're playing by yourself because on the bottom if you want to do the challenge then um if you get 10 or more at your from your total you use your dramatic lashes if you get 10 or less as your total then you use the shorter natural lashes and then same goes for the lips if you get 10 or more then you use one of the bold lipsticks which is a pink and red one or if you get 10 or less then you use one of the lighter tones um, and one's a liquid lipstick and one is a lip gloss and if you're a super beginner and you don't really know where to place your eyeshadows or where the area is called you do get this little diagram here it says crease lid outer corner lower lash line and inner corner so that's if you're playing by yourself maybe you're playing with someone younger who doesn't really wear makeup and they can use this just to help them out so let's go ahead and start the game the first two matching pairs that i got were the single eyeshadows and i got the color neon that one had a value of number two like i said this one did have a little trophy on there um, but my winning card was the number two the next pair that i got was the lip glosses and i was between fanny pack and mixtape but my card value number one had the trophy on there so that one won i got fanny pack that one is for my outer corner the next pair that i got were the eyeshadow palette and it was between mullet and walkman because I got the card value number two, it is it wins over the trophy. So my winning card was Walkman, and that one goes on my lid. Next, I got an eyeliner, and this one was between Ninja Turtles and Friends. And my highest value card was number three, which was 
the shade friends and that one's gonna go in my inner corner and then lastly my last pair was between queen and leg warmers but the card number one or the value one had a trophy on there so that's the one that won and i got leg warmers for my lower lash line so we're gonna see what crazy look this creates once i added them up i got the value total of number nine so my lashes are gonna be the natural lashes i kind of wanted to use the dramatic ones because i've used the light ones or the more natural ones already maybe i'll switch it up i don't know and then the lips is going to be the one of the lighter shades so this was my total this is my card of course you can also just write this down on a piece of paper if you don't want to use the notepad i didn't even show it to you but it does come with a lot of pages okay so let's get started on the look i have no clue what any of these shades are but like i said i got neon fanny pack walkman friends and leg warmers so let's get started the first shade is going to be the crease the crease shade and i got the shade neon which is a neon pink i did already put concealer i set it and everything so let's put this right here on the crease oh my gosh this is a really really bright pink let me not block my microphone this is a really bright pink that looks really pretty so let me try to blend this out this is also one of the new brushes so i've never used this brush for blending or for anything at all but it's doing a pretty good job blending this out i'm gonna bring it up all the way over here it looks really pretty i mean it's blending out smoothly it doesn't look patchy it's not giving me fallout or anything so it's looking good i think i'm gonna just go ahead and do both eyes to get them out of the way so let me know if you guys got this palette do you plan on using it like by playing the game or oh wait i'm blocking the camera um are you guys uh buying it to actually play the game or you just really like the color combination and that's what you're gonna you're just gonna use it you know however you want i'm eventually going to use it however i want but i did want to try it out using the game just to to play it and so y'all can see how the game is played and it's just different you know it's a different type of makeup application for me I wouldn't normally put random shades you know you're always thinking about it like what do i want in the crease what do i want on the outer corner all of that and like this you don't really have a choice you know it's just what the game tells you all right so that blended out really easily for both eyes and this uh, eyeshadow brush feels soft and everything okay so the next the next shade that i need to use in the outer corner is a fanny pack so let me see which one that is it is this like purpley shade right there not bad okay that one's gonna go on my outer corner so i feel like it actually goes really good with the pink neon shade so it's that one right there let's apply that one on the outer corner let me i'm even looking at my little diagram just to make sure i'm playing the game right but um yeah it's on the outer corner i'll actually use one of these new brushes i think this one would be fine so this is like a smaller blending brush and it's fanny pack yeah double checking okay i'm gonna apply this one right over here on the outer corner yeah these two shades are a very very pretty combination i guess i got lucky <laughs> And they're both matte shades. I was like wondering if I was going to get a shimmer shade to blend all over my eyelid. But I didn't. So that's, that's pretty good. Although it would have been a little different for me, you know. But this is a really pretty shade. Also, it's looking, it's looking good. It's not looking patchy. It's showing up. And I'm not getting... I got a little bit of fallout, but it's not a lot. I'm going to pack this on a little bit more over here. How I normally do my makeup, but it's still the outer corner. So that looks really, really pretty. I like that. So I'm going to take the other brush that I used the pink with and just blend that in. But yeah, these two colors are looking really good together. This color combination is really pretty. You can see how smooth they blend it in together. It just looks looks good like the combination looks really good all right so then for the lid is the color walkman which is give me something good what is it oh it is oh my god everything is going to match so my my looks not as crazy as, as i thought is this shimmery pink one right here and i'm also going to use one of the new brushes 
This one is a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use this shade without spraying it first just to see how it looks. But I usually spray all of my shimmers just because I like them to look extra shiny and just I like the wet look to them. So let's try it without it anyways. But I think I'm going to end up spraying them. I keep blocking my microphone. Yeah, so I mean it's a pretty pink but it's kind of sheer. You can't really see the true true color of of the shimmer that I feel like you can get whenever it's wet but I'll show you anyways so this is a pretty shade and I don't normally do pink looks you guys I've always felt well not be just because for no reason but I have been allergic to pink eyeshadow in the past and I think I'm over that I don't know but <laughs> I never really use pink eyeshadow for that reason there you go so you can see the shade it's just a very sheer glitter looking shimmer shade but i'm gonna spray it with my mac prep and prime this is what i always use for my shimmer eyeshadows so i'm just grabbing some on my brush and i'm gonna wet it and i'm gonna grab a little bit more that's just how i always do it and now i'm gonna put this on oh yes much much better you can see the shade a lot better whenever you wet it there much better just gives you that pretty shine that you expect from a shimmer eyeshadow the brush is really soft too so that looks really good i'm gonna take my little blending brush and apply fanny pack one more time over here just to blend this out look how pretty that looks okay that's cute that is cute okay let's see if we get something crazy for the lower lash line i actually wanted to look at all the shades first and um before we started like before i started applying them but i'm like no i want to i want to do it on a camera and just match them once i'm recording because that way we see what the color is at the same time or the shade name at the same time okay so like i said i did get a little bit of fallout i'm gonna take that off I still haven't set my face, so I'm going to set my face once I finish my, my eyeshadow. Um, the inner corner is going to be using the shade Friends. I remember I saw that one. Oh my god, it is a bright, bright purple. So that's a little different for me, but it does match with the rest of the shades, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to use their other new brush. I was able to use all the brushes today. This is a, like a neon purple shade. And this isn't the order that I would normally put, you know, the inner corner shade, but that's fine. Shows up nicely. It is a matte shade. I also would not use a matte shade on the inner corner. Most of the time it's like a shimmer or nothing at all. But this will work. Looks so different for me. <laughs> I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and blend it into that pink that for sure in the inner corner is very different for me all right and the last last shade is the lower lash line and i got the shade leg warmers oh my god okay that is the bright blue right here a bright blue on the lower lash line i mean it's gonna look cute but it's just different <laughs> shows up a lot it's super super bright i don't even i don't even need to go over it too much wow that is a super neon blue I feel like this is a very 80s look. And let me blend it out with a small brush. I'll just use one of mine. I think the craziest part of the look is that purple on in the inner corner that I'm not used to. You know, because I'm not used to wearing a matte in the inner corner. But that's the point of the game, you know? You get to use colors that you wouldn't normally try out okay so that's how the eye look turned out i think it's really cute really pretty like i said shades that or maybe i would have tried this except for that inner corner i probably would not have chosen a matte shade for my inner corner but it's really pretty really cute and the colors actually do go pretty good together and they're all neon that's just that's just what turned out for me i did put on the eyeliner but i actually want to use something on the lower lash line i don't know if i should do maybe something green or yellow or keep it blue because I do have a blue 
waterline pencil i don't know what would look better i think i'm gonna stick to blue i'm gonna use this one from la colors this is the neon gel eyeliner okay so before i put on the falsies i'm gonna curl my eyelashes i'm going to add a mascara on the lower lashes and on the top so i think what i'm gonna do is apply a dramatic lash on one eye and the natural lash on the other so you can see both but then decide kind of like which one looks better which i think it will be the dramatic ones even though the challenge does say for me to use the natural ones i just feel like with this look it is just so dramatic like i need the dramatic lash you know so let me apply this one this is how you apply it and it just sticks right on because of the magnetic eyeliner which does come in the set of lashes by the way okay so that's the natural one it doesn't look bad it looks good i think it's i thought it was gonna be a little bit too too natural but actually it doesn't look too bad and then i'm gonna get the dramatic lash this one i have not tried at all like i said i did use these uh, the natural ones before so these look really pretty I really do think it looks better with the dramatic ones just because of this eyeshadow look it just needs it so i'm gonna go ahead and break the rules for that part and i'm gonna use the, the dramatic ones i just feel like it'll look much better because look at these shades like it's necessary it needs dramatic eyelashes i was thinking if i should do a wing or not but i think it looks fine without it oh i forgot to set my makeup before putting on my eyeliner and my falsies but i'll go ahead and do that now i'm gonna use the milk makeup hydro grip set and refresh spray this one has been the lipstick that i have been wearing in my previous two videos so i already know how it looks it's really pretty and it's just like a new shade actually i'm gonna take off the lip gloss i have the Too faced lip injection on my lips it doesn't work as good as my clear one though i had to start using this one because i ran out of the clear one and it just doesn't give me the same effect as the clear one does but anyways let me go ahead and put this one on all right so these were crazy colors for sure would i do a look with this i actually would like would i have chosen it myself i think i would except for that matte shade in the inner corner but usually i go for a shimmer but that's the whole point it's for you to try out some new looks that you wouldn't normally choose for yourself so that was pretty fun it was just like a nice surprise to see what shade was next where you're gonna apply it and how crazy the look can actually look you know what i mean but it does have a ton of shades i feel like i can do a, a bunch of different looks with this um even if you just go down on each row i feel like you can create a look with each row on its own so i just it just happened that i got a a pretty good match of colors or you know that kind of went together the pinks the purples they look really good together so that is the complete look i actually do really like it with these falsies i feel like it looked better they're coming off yeah, tell me what you think of this collection tell me what you think of the game part will you be trying it will you be playing it of course it does take that extra time to choose out your shades or to match up your shades you playing the cards but it's really not that long like it didn't take me long to you know match the cards together and i did want to just talk about the brushes lastly just because i did use them today i used all of them all of them worked out great they did what they were supposed to do they blended out they didn't feel hard on my eyes they're really soft and everything like that this one also works really good with the shimmer eyeshadow so that was good um and the only thing that i preferred to do was wet my shimmer eyeshadow because i like that more intense look so yeah you can see it right there it looks really pretty tell me what you think of the shades of how it turned out and all of that like i said let me know if you will be buying this if you will be playing it as a game um but then you know you can always just use it however you want at the end of the day by the way i forgot to mention earlier but i do have a discount code it is just angelica gomez all together and that would give you 10 percent off if you want to try out that code i'm not 100 percent sure if it if it works with this collection or not but either way if you get anything else from the website or any other time you can always use that it is an affiliate code by the way so if you do use it thank you for that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it fun thank you so much for watching and if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you go so that way you can come back and watch some more videos and that's it for today thank you again and i will see you guys in my next video bye